What's up, BMU College of Arts and Sciences? How we doing today? It is Tuesday, April 6th, and uh, my name is Dr. Matt Cook. I'm coming to you live from my house. Surprising, right? Uh, we're all stuck at home still as we end uh, this winter 2021 semester. The College of Arts and Sciences deans asked if I would put together a little day in the life video to give you some behind the scenes footage of what it's like to be a professor during pandemic times. And I said, sure, I will always take a chance to be on video. Uh, so mainly I'm gonna show you around uh, tomorrow on Wednesday. Those are a little bit of a busier day for me. Uh, today I just happen to have a little bit of time to record this introduction video and tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I teach in the Department of Geography and Geology. Uh, specifically, I was hired to teach in our Historic Preservation Program, wearing one of our uh, shirts right here that shows off a little bit of what we do in terms of saving old buildings. Uh, although I'm a geographer by training, so I also teach in geography and geotourism. And a little bit of an interesting fact about me is that I am also taking classes using our faculty benefits. Uh, I am studying music on the sides. So from the get-go, let me just say uh, the faculty of College of Arts and Sciences are very much pulling for you here as we end the semester, much like we were you know, throughout this entire pandemic, uh, being very much on your side, wanting to see you succeed as we round out this semester. So more to come from me tomorrow. Good morning. It is actually 9.15, so it's not that early. But uh, I normally have to be up at 7.30 on Wednesdays to teach. Uh, but today I just happened to have canceled my Geography 110 honors class. So I got to sleep in a little bit. You can hear my voice is uh, not in its usual status. Now I need to introduce you to my co-hosts of the show. Over here we have Kate, the Border Collie. And we have Story, who is a Westie. And they say stop this madness and open up the gate and feed us breakfast. But before anything, we gotta have some coffee. I do it the hard way, by doing pour overs. So we gotta come over here, fill up the pitcher. Oh yeah, back to the coffee. Easily distracted here. Let's get this working. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. Kate, you wanna say hi? How about your story? That's more like it. Kate just wants to play ball. All right, it sounds like good things are happening over here. This is my very official way of checking the temperature. It feels about right. And there you have it. A fantastic cup of coffee. It might be the slow way, but uh, it's worth it. All right, one last shot from the kitchen, lest you think I didn't actually eat breakfast. Here's your unsolicited professor advice. Eat breakfast, people. Eat some oatmeal. Best bang for your buck. Add some pumpkin seeds, it's healthy. This segment sponsored by Swoops. All right, so it's finally time to go back to the office. Get the day really started. Ta-da! This is where all the magic happens. My semi-organized desk. So as I was mentioning earlier, my Geography 110 honors class did not meet today. Uh, so I've sort of rearranged my schedule ever so slightly. I stayed up late last night doing work, slept in this morning, uh, and have scheduled a couple of advising meetings for my grad students, uh, a couple of grad students to talk about registration for next semester. Uh, friendly reminder, go talk to an advisor and get registered for fall, maybe even summer 2021. This is not a paid promotion by the College of Arts and Sciences deans, by the way, but they also want you to register. 
So I've got my schedule all ready to go here. Probably backwards, but uh, gotta have that daily to-do list thing going. I'll be going into these advising meetings here, um, one this morning, one in the afternoon. Uh, and then sort of in between all of that, uh, I will also have lunch in a little bit. Um, and then at one o'clock I have EMU choir. As I mentioned yesterday, uh, I am a music student as well on the side here. So we've got choir virtually right now. Uh, we had been meeting in person, but unfortunately uh, not able to do so with the rising COVID numbers. Uh, our director, Dr. Brandon Johnson, made the decision this week to move our last couple of weeks of rehearsals onto Zoom so we can keep everybody as safe as possible. Uh, and then after choir, uh, virtually, then I will have piano class at three o'clock, also virtually. It's time for everyone's favorite, a Zoom meeting. Woo! Well, update. Uh, not a lot to report on from choir, unfortunately. We did just meet for about half an hour to discuss the situation for the rest of the semester. Uh, but basically it looks like we are indeed going to be in online choir, which, you know, you can only use so much when you're sitting in your room and you're muted uh, on Zoom. I will say, however, uh, we are talking uh, as a choir with the director about next year when things hopefully get back to a little bit more of a normal kind of year for us, uh, that we will not only be rehearsing in person, uh, we will be looking at doing some kind of tour, uh, either internationally or domestically. Uh, so if you're the kind of person who maybe is a singer uh, or has some experience in being in choirs uh, and you're not in the EMU choir right now, I would encourage you to reach out to our director, Dr. Brandon Johnson, uh, and t discuss with him what that process looks like uh, to get signed up for a choir in the fall. Now that I have all this extra time on my hands, I think I'm actually gonna be able to get outside a little bit and enjoy this beautiful day. So I might take you with me a little bit and go get a little sunshine. All right, so this might be a little silly, but I figured if life gives you a little extra time, you might as well go hop on the bike. Here goes nothing. Let's see if I can video and bike at the same time. Whew. 30 minute sessions add up. <sighs> Time to be a music student, part two. Get folks to wave hello for us here. 